In this video I'll be showing you a useful piece of software called GBridge. You can get it from this website here www.gbridge.com. Now GBridge is a free piece of software that lets you remotely control PCs, syncs your folders and share your files and also chat securely easily over the internet. It's an extension of Google's GTalk service and GBridge automatically forms a collaborative encrypted VPN which is a virtual private network that connects your computers and your friends computers directly and securely. Okay, so let's have a little look at the program itself. You can download it from here, as I said, and it's a no limit, no adware, 100% free, requires Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and Windows 7. You do need to have a Gmail account, okay, to use this application. So let's have a little look at the program itself. I've already got mine downloaded, so I'm just going to quickly install it. It's pretty painless to install, we just need to go through the motions here. Okay, just bring that down here so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm just going to run GBridge now. Now I haven't got many people, no people connected to me, so I can't really show you certain things, but I'll just show you exactly what it's got on it. So I can actually type in here now my username. Okay, now I need to put my password in. Okay, and then uh, click on log on. And this will actually connect up okay so now we've got our actual connection there as you can see this is the actual application that we're using so I can invite a friend if I want to okay and this will straight away I'll put the email address in here invite this person put the tick in and this will send a nice little message to them saying that you're wishing to invite them to connect up to you okay and you just send an invitation or you can block uh, an invited friend or disallow okay so you can see uh, my computer there and also you've got the people that are connected to you here okay this is where be your friends will be and also you've got pending friends these are the people that I haven't actually accepted yet okay so you know exactly when they've accepted and when they haven't accepted uh, incoming invitations this is from people that are obviously sending you an invitation to connect to them so you can see how it's going to work it'll be like a uh, loads of people connecting to each other We've also got uh, create a secure share, which is obviously just sharing a folder really. That's what basically it is. You just actually click on something that you want to share, maybe a f an MP3 folder or a documents folder for work, and you actually want to share um, Word documents or Excel uh, spreadsheets to people. And you just actually click on that folder and that will share that folder. You just drag the updated work in there and you can actually pick that up later on from the other side if you was at work or connecting to it depending on which way you want to go about it okay you've also got um, the setup part here I'm not going to bother setting it up because it's pretty self-explanatory just uh, you'll see a hand go underneath it like that and that means you're networking that folder sharing it okay over the network so basically you just click on this and go through the procedure it's pretty straightforward you've got easy backup here okay and uh, you just this is actually backing up anything that you want to back up there and you've also got a uh, desktop share which is you can share your desktop so say for instance you want to share your work computer back at home you can actually click on this and actually share your desktop with that person okay it's a uh, pretty much uh, self-explanatory you've seen them all over the internet these sort of applications but this is all in one which is pretty useful you've also got an options uh, chat options here which allows you to always away ignore broadcast blah 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 same old same old then the network bandwidth and as you can see upload um, you can actually sort of throttle it really how much um, bandwidth you want to allow and you've also got advanced now this is for like port forwarding if you're having problems connecting up uh, from firewalls and stuff like that you can actually um, you can actually uh, set it up in here okay and that's basically it really it's pretty straightforward um, you know you've got everything on this website if you want to learn all about it you've also got auto sync which allows you to transfer large files and synchronizing folders uh, to and from anywhere okay so basically that's a that's about it there's some screen more screenshots here if you want to actually see it in action give it a go let us know your uh, what you like uh, what you think about it um, you can actually read more about it on my forum if you want to uh, there's a load more stuff about this program on there anything else you want to know about go to my forum there's plenty of stuff on there that you can actually read up 
Okay, so my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Hope this video has been some use to you. Bye for now.